Simly, it's, it's Deli here with another speed build. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. It is actually going to be a shipping container build or a shipping container home. Uh, basically, I've been looking at a lot of shipping container homes on Tumblr and Google and stuff like that. And I don't know, I'm just really into them. I kind of told my dad the other day, I'm like, I want to save up for a shipping container and I want to make a home in it. And he was like... Okay then, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want, girl. <laughs> uh, you you go for it. Uh, now I think about, it, I don't know if I want to do that so much, but in the first instance, I was like, they're so cool. I just want to live in one myself. Uh, but I figured, you know what? I'll build one in The Sims Three. Uh, but why I like them is because a lot of people are kind of renovating them. They're putting big glass windows in them and making the interior very modular, uh, very compact and just very modern and contemporary. And I really, really like the look of them. So if you're interested in architecture and that kind of thing and design, uh, you should definitely get your Google on and check some of them out. Uh, some very, very cutting edge designs are out there, which I enjoyed looking at. But Another reason why I decided to do this build was I was challenging myself to do a one hour build. I got a little bit carried away with it and it ended up being a two hour build. <laughs> Whoopsies, but it's still, it's still a pretty short build, uh, although it's not very big, so uh, I probably could be in a little bit shorter, but that's all right. At least I had fun. So. I've kind of recently, since doing the 10x10 10 10 challenge, which was the Sunset Valley Kids Clubhouse, I've been wanting to do more small builds recently or little challenges. Uh, so if you have an idea for a challenge for me, I really enjoy them. Uh, so definitely comment down below uh, if there's anything you would like me to do. Uh, because it's fun doing little things that don't take too long uh, or I guess in another way, you still spend the same time time or amount of time on them, but you can do a better job of them, if that makes sense. Uh, you can kind of perfect the small space more than if you do a big build and then you have to finish the whole thing. And it's like, oh, sometimes you might cut a few corners, whereas a little one, you can perfect it. And I like that. Uh, you can see I've been using a lot of constraint for elevation to get the shape of it. And, 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 uh, the problem with shipping containers in The Sims 3 is that they are very long and tall. So we needed a little bit of extra height and I wanted there to be a split level inside. So the bedroom could be risen up away from the living area, which is what we're working on now. Uh, so that's why I've done that. And the bathroom is actually going to be kind of an open bathroom, I suppose. Uh, except there's an all-in-one bathroom, so don't worry, the toilet's going to be enclosed. But the shower's open, which I thought was, I don't know, pretty cool. Uh, during the front door here, we needed to lift that wall up in order to fit the door in. Uh, so that meant that the wallpaper at the front of the house couldn't be the corrugated iron look or the shipping container metal look because it would have gone all glitchy and it would have just looked really ugly. So... That's why that's happened. And there is a, it's a bit of a shame uh, having the two stories of wall heights meant that the corrugated iron wallpaper, so the blue metal kind of texture on the exterior, it meant that uh, you can see the division between the two levels because that wallpaper doesn't blend into the level below it. So there wasn't any other wallpaper I could find that would, that would not do that. So we just have to put up with it, I guess. It doesn't look too bad though. Uh, in my in my opinion, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, another thing with the split leveling was, of course, when you put windows in, it's going to cut through a portion of the window. So I was experimenting with stacking them here. I was like, maybe the top glass bit could be like a rim around the top of the house or like some kind of roofing. Uh, so I was playing around with the, the leveling here or the wall heights here and seeing if I could meet them up with the window. But... Ugh, it didn't it didn't really work out so in the end we do find a way around it and we just put the windows in but we end up putting kind of window shades over that upper portion of them which I think works well uh, so here the window shades are going in and I believe they are from university life uh, I 
think that was the icon I just saw. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Uh, but yeah, these shades are kind of cool. They look very beachy and... Uh, yeah, I like them. They're vibrant. Oh, also the overall feel feel of the house when you do go inside, it's got a more masculine feel to it. It's not my usual super duper mismatched kind of look. Uh, I've got to say kind of so much. I say kind of heaps at the moment. Okay, I'm not allowed to say kind of for the rest of the video. Okay, it's going to be tough. <laughs> but anywho, uh... Yeah, so it's more masculine inside, it's a bit more simpler, a bit more clean cut. And I have been getting a few requests from people, because we have done a few feminine builds recently. We did the... well, we've been working on the sorority house, which is obviously pretty feminine. We also did the Let's Renovate an Apartment with Eleanor Riley, and that ended up being very feminine. So a few viewers were wanting something a bit more masculine, perhaps. So I did keep that in mind in this build kind of a surfer bachelor pad, I guess. Uh, although it's not really gender specific. I guess it's just not entirely feminine, rather. With the flooring, I went with a polished concrete floor because I love polished concrete. I think it's so cool. And I thought it made sense with the fact that we're using, like, uh, a shipping container as a house. Like, shipping containers... Now I'm saying it out loud, it doesn't really make sense, but because shipping containers are heavy, I thought a concrete floor would make sense. Uh, I don't know if that is actually very logical. Now I say it out loud, but that was the reasoning behind it. And I put in these curtains or blinds from the Sims 3 store. They're pretty good. Uh, they do block out a lot of sunlight, obviously, but the reason why I did that was to cover the wallpaper or the wall cutting out the upper part of the window on the interior. We fixed it up on the outside, but we needed to kind of fix it on the inside as well. So that's why I put those in. And when you view the shipping container house from the outside, you can see through the blinds. So it doesn't look like a creepy house where all the windows are blacked out. It just looks like it's in a really hot climate. So the blinds are drawn uh, just to keep the inside really cool. So all really nice and cold. Uh, but you can see here, I wanted to put in a modular feel into the house. So there's a lot of matching. The stairs match the blinds, which match the flooring, with which match the uh, kitchen counters and stuff like that. So I wanted it to have that modular feel, like it all being built at once. It's all very compact. And then you just have your furnishings plonked inside it. That's the look I was going for. And I love this bedroom upstairs. It would be so nice to be able to have your bedroom just up the stairs. It's all an open space. I love the idea of open spaces. A uh, huge fan of that. And uh, obviously there I was checking Twitter or something like that. Uh, yes, it was very nice. Picking the Duna covers as well was a bit tricky actually. Uh, I was going to go with this... What do you call that pattern? Uh, oh my gosh. Patchwork. Patchwork? No. Patchwork. Oh gosh. I'm really tired, so I can't think of words very well today. <laughs> oh dear. But I really wanted to do this build. I had fun with it. Patchwork, checkered, whatever that bedding is, we do change it in the end. And this chair next to the bed, uh, it's like a chrome uh, inspired by my Skypod renovation. Uh, Skypod build was by Curtis Parody originally, but I renovated it ages ago. One of my favorite renovations, actually. Uh, actually, it could be my favorite in The Sims 3. Uh, and that that is a big call. <laughs> that was, the chrome chair was inspired by that futuristic build. Uh, so yes, putting a painting on the ground there as well. I thought it looked nice against that half wall. Uh, it looked lived in, and uh, a painting above the bed as well, where we put it into the future shelf, so the sim can kind of store things up there. Uh, saving the game, because my game has been crashing recently. I don't know why. I think it's just from getting extra store content recently. I don't know. So it's a good time for The Sims 4 to come out. A very good time indeed. <laughs> Putting some books in the corner as well, uh, in case The Sim feels like having a read. Uh, and yeah, we got rid of the chair, that's right, uh, because 
I don't know. I didn't like it as a bedside table in the end. I just wanted a normal bedside table for this build. But of course we use the chairs downstairs. Don't you worry, we didn't get rid of them completely. Uh, and I was trying out a new thing here with the kitchen counter. I got the island counter and flipped it, uh, or well, doubled it and flipped it upon itself. And I wanted to see if a sim could eat on it from kind of both sides. Uh, damn it, I said kind of. <laughs> so I got Xavi in. Uh, Xavi is a sim that the Sim Supply and I created for our little joint Let's Play. Uh, and he's, he's a bit of a funny sim if you haven't seen that. He is quite the character. Uh, but surprisingly, there is a lot of love for Xavi in the world. Uh, a lot of viewers have been creating lots of female sims for him to get with because he is a bachelor. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun <laughs> coming soon. Uh, this dining table, again, going with that modular theme, connecting it to the half wall or making it look like it is part of the half wall. Uh, there's a lot of move objects on cheat being used here to kind of, oh, damn it, I said kind of again, <laughs> to merge all of the different furnishings together. This shelf is from Roaring Heights as well, uh, which is where this house or shipping container has been built. Uh, of course, it is not in the Roaring Twenties as Roaring Heights is meant to be set in. Uh, it's more of a current day build. It doesn't have the Art Deco feel about it at all. So just to make that clear. And uh, I actually was going to put it in Sunset Valley originally, but I just couldn't find any flat ground for it uh, on the beaches anyway. Then I put some fencing up here above the TV because the TV uh, was above the wall because that wall is slightly shorter than usual. And I thought the fencing, because it was glass, made sense. Uh, because behind it is actually the bathroom where the shower is. So if you can imagine steam rising up, you wouldn't want to damage that TV. So that glass, I think, is appropriate. <laughs> uh, I like this shelf, actually. Since we used it in the sorority house renovation, I'm really digging it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> and this rug here from The Sims 3 Supernatural, one of my favorite rugs ever, even being vegetarian. <laughs> I love it. And I was really struggling with what color to make that pattern but in the end I found that going with the stark black and white contrast uh, it I guess harmonizes with the orange ready rich woods that go with the stark white walls so I think that fits in quite well. Putting in a treadmill too in case whoever lives here wants to work out uh, if they're wanting that beach bod in Roaring Heights uh, seeming they're living <laughs> literally on the beach it's probably a good idea. There is an all-in-one bathroom, so they can use the toilet in privacy. Uh, otherwise, I would have had to use CFE or mucked around with CFE a lot to put in a full wall, which you could do if you wanted to, but I thought the all-in-one bathroom was fine. And I really liked this idea of merging or combining the clothes rack with the bed. It kind of looks like it's part of it, and the clothes hang at the end of the bed. So going with that compact theme again, uh, using limited space in the shipping container. I thought that looked cool. I was going to put some plants under the staircase, but in the end we put a pet bed because I have realized pets can wander under the staircase to sleep in the bed, so it's quite a good spot for pet beds, I think. Uh, so long as the food bowl isn't there, because your sims won't be able to fill up the food bowl. Uh, if you have watched my Luna Island LP and seen how terrible I am at taking care of Sims 3 pets, uh probably a good idea to take note of that, at least for me, because they do need to be fed. Also putting in some pot plants here to finish it off, because obviously he's sitting on the beach, it would be hard to grow nice greenery, so a couple of pot plants made sense. And he has a couple of boats as well, or he or she, uh, so they can go out into the surf and enjoy living in such a beautiful world. Living in Roaring Heights would seriously be the best. Uh, does any viewers like live in Miami? I think it's what it was based on because I would love to go to Miami actually But anyway here are the screenshots. There's only a few uh, Because it's not a very big build obviously uh, But yeah, we've got the exterior. I really like the orange and the blue colors They're really fun and beachy and that's kind of an over-the-head look you can see how the room works and the bathrooms behind the TV and uh 
you know, you can see the nice blinds there too. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having an awesome or lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.